Private Jacob Farr left home in Granbury, Texas almost a year ago. Ambush, time now, over. Why did I join the Army? Uh, this is something I've always known I wanted to do since the time I was a little kid. And now, here we are. Here is the Croatian countryside. Yeah, yeah. I got eyes on the Private Farr's unit stationed in Germany has come as one of six countries participating in immediate response 2012, a multinational military training exercise. It's a chance to test their training against forces some of them have never seen and work together with partner forces. Well, uh, a lot of these guys that are here during this exercise, uh, I've talked to several of them, will actually be downrange in Afghanistan within the next year, working close hand with American forces and other NATO forces that are out there. So I think the cooperation and, you know, we're not running missions and stuff and hanging out and getting to know who you're going to be working with is really important. So how do you develop a working relationship with soldiers from another country? First is holding your own during training. When his unit came looking for volunteers to handle communications for the platoon from Bosnia and Herzegovina, Private Farr stepped forward. Now he's embedded with the Bosnians during the exercise. Bull 6626 six, Romeo. Yeah, I'd say we're, I mean, we're getting pretty close going through all this, you know, hanging out even after missions, you know, hanging out with guys uh, in the platoon in their tents and stuff, playing soccer with them, trading uniforms, patches. Being the lone U.S. soldier training with a foreign platoon is no small feat. Yeah, definitely. But his fellow soldiers know why Private Farr is thriving under the circumstances. Bull 6626 six, Romeo, over. Definitely his hardworking personality. I mean, he works harder than a lot of people. You put him in a situation, whether he wants to do it or not, he still tries his hardest. Hey, he's moving right along the berm. One situation that helped endear him to his Bosnian counterparts was when their leader went down during a simulated combat scenario. Private Farr stepped forward again, this time leading the Bosnian platoon through the scenario to oh, safety. Bro, he basically took over the platoon as a private. Right. It was just pretty easy just to know what needed to be done and just see things like playing out before you and then just being able to call the shots and know what needed to happen. That sounds like the modest version. You could definitely say that. There's a mortar tube. But his actions earned him recognition as his unit's soldier of the week. I mean, it's not every day that you see a private take command like that. Private Farr has been living his childhood dream for almost a year now. So how's it going? Prepare to copy Ace report. You could say, so far, so good. Yeah, pretty much. For U.S. Army Europe, Jesse Granger, Slunja Training Area, Croatia.